There are few things that are like more mundane but rewarding than rinsing rice, soaking rice, preparing it for steaming, uh, moving it from the steamer to cooling into the fermentation vessels. It's just like a beautiful, like very practical process uh, that ends up yielding something that like I spent a lot of time talking to people about. In the wake of the craft beer movement, is American-made craft sake the next big thing for U.S. consumers? Many local producers throughout the U.S. believe it is. In Brooklyn, New York, the epicenter for craft everything, one of these small producers, Brooklyn Kura, is trying to get consumers to rethink when and where they drink the Japanese rice wine. So the traditional American relationship to sake is one of your corner sushi shop, Presenting sake in a ceramic vessel, it's a little bit more astringent, industrial-made sake and doesn't capture like the quality and craftsmanship associated with the product that we experienced in Japan. We use ingredients from the U.S., rice grown in Arkansas and California, water from New York City tap. That said, we make a relatively traditional style of sake. Brian Polin and Brandon Dugan started the brewery out of mutual love of sake and Japanese culture. These days, Brian focuses on growing the business while Brandon brews the sake. It's essentially four ingredients. Rice, water, yeast, and koji. Koji really is the, the ingredient that introduces sugar to the fermentation. Steaming and cooling, the rice is moved into a hot, dry room. Then it is dusted with a cloud of Aspergillus orize, a mold that will soon propagate all over the rice, turning it into koji. Those four ingredients are, through an elaborate dance, put together in a large fermentation vessel and fermented cold uh, for up to 45 days. At the end of that process, uh, that fermentation mash is squeezed for all intents and purposes um, and clear sake is separated from residual rice, um, yeast and koji um, and that's what we, we present to our guests. Sake isn't unknown to American consumers. The U.S. is Japan's largest sake export market. One-fourth of their exports came to the U.S. in 2017. The U.S. has about 20 sake breweries of its own, which produce around 19 million liters a year. Most of the sake consumed in the U.S. is mass-produced, with craft sake being a small but growing percentage. Unfortunately, but again, to some advantages, that sake right now in the American consumer's mind is inextricably linked to Japanese food. The real goal for us is to present sake in our tap room in such a way that people start associating it with, uh, with cuisine outside of Japanese. Like I drink my sake with steaks at home or with grilled fish. Ultimately, we need to produce something here that is exciting and gives people the confidence that the category of sake is this really exciting, broad-ranging thing um, that they can start interacting with and substituting their, their wine and beer consumption with. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.